The bomb was found behind this plaque here, which commemorates the first visit to Wales by Prince Charles after he was created Prince of Wales. It was found in a canvas bag. In the bag were 12 sticks of gelignite and a timing device. The bomb was discovered by a crane driver who was walking down to Mackenzie Pier to take a boat out to a rig in Holyhead Harbour where he was working. But one of the first men to see the bomb was a local council painter, Mr. Richard Lloyd. What were you doing when you learnt about the bomb? We were painting white lines and caution lines on the water. And what happened then? Well, this fellow picked this bag up and he came running to us and asked me if I owned the bag. I said, no. He eventually said, uh, well, there's about 10 sticks of dynamite in it and a clock attached to a clock. So I went down to here and I could hear the clock ticking. You could hear walked, the clock ticking? Yes, I could hear the clock ticking and walked away. And what did you say to this fellow? I, well, uh, first of all, I thought he was pulling my leg and I said, put two more in. But when I got near enough to hear the damn thing going, I, so one of the other fellows went down to the police station and fetched the police. When the police were alerted, they called in an army bomb disposal unit, which had just moved into Carnarvon for the investiture. When they arrived, the whole area around this plaque was cleared, and when the bomb had been made safe, had been diffused, it was only then that they discovered that a faulty detonator had prevented an enormous explosion at this spot. Four schoolboys who were camping in two tents only 20 yards away on the beach were the first to be evacuated. What was the first thing you knew about the bomb? Uh, when a police constable came down to their tents and started shaking us, and he told us to get over the other side of their cafe to seek shelter. He started shaking us and shouting at us. Then he says it could go up at any time and just get what we can in case he had to throw it over the top because the tents would disappear. Well, you're only 20 yards away. Did it worry you very much? Not really. It was a bit of a laugh, you know. <laughs> the police and the army are saying very little about the bomb, but with Carnarvon only 30 miles away and the investiture just six days off, it serves as a very sharp reminder of the threat that faces Prince Charles and the investiture. It's a reminder that will keep the 4,000 police and troops who are now moving into Carnarvon very much on their toes. Keith Hatfield, News at 10, Holyhead.